Atlanta is still reeling from a massive cyber attack. And the reality is that most businesses, large and small, will have to contend with ransomware at one point or another for Tech Republicans eating that. My name is Dan Patterson with Bill Bettweiler and Larry Dignan. Uh, Larry, there is a Verizon report uh, that talks about the extent to which uh, ransomware uh, is in the market. But uh, I understand from what you've researched that actual malware is on the decline. Yeah, so the Verizon data beat breach investigative report or investigations report. Um, what's interesting there is they found malware is actually going down a bit, um, but ransomware is on the rise. So basically ransomware was found in 39% of all the malware related data breaches. And that's double from the previous year. So what we're seeing is we're seeing ransomware sort of ramp and then malware overall kind of go down. And that's, that's partially because cyber criminals are basically being much more targeted about it. So they're targeting HR departments, cities. They're, they're targeting more the who than the how many. So they're, not, they're, not, they're getting much more focused and much more efficient about what they're doing. Um, and ransomware plays into that because the beauty of ransomware is you can make money by just withholding data or just holding it ransom as opposed to actually going in there and doing all the work and sneaking it out. You know, I mean, in a lot of ways, ransomware is just an easier way to get paid. Um, so, so that's sort of, but we're seeing that, we're seeing that spike and that's what Verizon's found. And um, they've analyzed more than 53,000 incidents in the last year. Um, so this report's getting bigger and bigger, but it's a pretty good overview of ransomware and kind of where things are going. Bill, when you talk to companies, is there any indication of the cost of disruption to business that ransomware could cost? Not just the cost of the ransomware itself, but uh, all that downtime. Oh, it, it can be in the millions. And, you know, especially if you take a situation like Atlanta, if you take uh, some of the national health service hospitals that were hit in the UK last year, um, it, it's a significant impact on not just the bottom line, but also on reputation, also on the customers, the citizens, the patients that you're serving. So this can have real world impact beyond just, you know, a, a computer being down or not being able, you know, to access a web portal or not being able to pay your traffic tickets online. There are significant and real world impacts caused by ransomware. And that's what the uh, that's what the perpetrators, uh, that's what the attackers know, is they understand that these are, have significant costs, and often the amounts of the ransoms are fairly low. I think the report stated in the Atlanta attack that they were only asking for just over $50,000 in Bitcoin, right? And so what you have is, it, it, would you rather have millions of dollars, weeks of downtime, you know, thousands of hours of IT staff and law enforcement and um, you're just regular city staff trying to overcome this? Or would you rather pay what's an insignificant amount of money in the grander budget, you know, to have things back up and running quickly, right? So it, it has a significant impact on, uh, you know, on companies. And a lot of times that's why ransomware is so successful is because they're asking, the cost is so great versus just paying the ransom. Now, you know, most law enforcement agencies recommend that companies do not pay this ransom because then again, it just further perpetuates ransomware attacks. But at the same time, most of these organizations are driven by uh, expediency or dollars and cents. So to them, they're only interested in, hey, look, I need to get the systems back up and running as quickly as possible, you know, to, to avoid, you know, a more serious problem. I think what we're going to find is that the whole ransomware thing, it's going to work really well. Well, it's going to actually be, so there's going to be basically two ways to handle this. If you're an enterprise and the price is 50K to get all your data back so you can actually function, just pay the money and go, right? Um, not a great precedent to set, but you can kind of get the economics. If you're a city like Atlanta, you, may, you probably don't have a $50,000 slush fund laying around. Or you may, but it's probably hidden and it's a whole thing, right? So you're, you can't go to the taxpayers or your residents and go, hey, we need more money because we need a slush fund to pay off people because our infrastructure is insecure. 
Like, so, so I think when you see this, it's pro, you know, ransomware is probably going to be a really a larger headache for like we've seen with Atlanta. But I, I think a lot of cities, a lot of government agencies, yeah, it's just harder to pull off, right? Because you don't have that money that you can just kind of snap your fingers and go with. And simply have policies that they won't and can't pay uh, extortion fees. Uh, and this is pretty common with anything that is funded by a taxpayer. So I'll ask you both. It sounds like uh, this is probably a rhetorical question, but with uh, ransomware becoming a commodity, it is easily purchase purchasable and deployable through the dark web. What does the future, the short term, the next uh, 6, 12, 18 months look like for businesses and ransomware? Is this just a fact of uh, a part of doing business? I think it, well, I don't know if it'll be a part of doing business. I, I think what you're going to see is what you see with every big threat. You see vendors come out with this great big fix. I mean, you, you Google ransomware right now, it's nothing but ads about people trying to, you know, vendors trying to help you with ransomware. Um, I think if you're a city or a government agency, you need to get your security crap together because you just can't, you, you got to button things down. And I don't, I don't think the security has been dedicated, you know, over time. So, you know, I think it's almost, I mean, this goes for enterprises too, obviously. Um, but yeah, I just think we're going to see more of this. It, it's, it's it, the economics are there. The technology's there. It's not hard to scale. Um, it's just a better way of cybercrime. Bill, where can we go to learn more about uh, policy manuals, advice, tips and tricks, cheat sheets on how companies can respond to and prepare for ransomware attacks? So definitely check out ZDNet and Tech Republic uh, for all the latest news, uh, the latest analysis on ransomware attacks. And then check out our premium uh, content site, Tech Pro Research, where we have original research on uh, security from ev on everything from IoT to ransomware attacks and to cyber warfare, and of course, free or, uh, downloadable policy templates uh, for registered members that can help you craft a good ransomware cybersecurity policy.